What if I could forge anything I wanted to? Let's just say I was thinking, man, I think I want to forge a chef's knife and just do it by hand. Okay, cool, great idea. I'm glad that was my idea, I came with that idea. I'm gonna share something fun with you. Imagine what I'm about to do as the trailer to a feature length film that you can't wait for it to come out. But instead of it coming out now, we'll just delay it a couple more months just to mess with it a little bit, just get it all hyped up. So that's what we're gonna do today. Jacob Barham rounding hammer, round, flat, I like this. This is probably one of the most beautiful hammers I've ever gotten. And we'll be doing that. And that's about all we're gonna use, y'all. Hope you enjoy. Possibly tone and some 80 CRV2. This is starting out as an inch and a half wide. Believe it or not, that's an inch and a half wide. That's four inches wide. All right, in the fire we go. I'm making a chef's night. First thing I like to do is make the point. Safety glasses. try to use one hammer sometimes when I'm doing this. I tend to like bigger hammers. This is a, about a pound and a half heavier hammer than my other one. And that's why I didn't get it done in one heat. So we'll go ahead and finish it out. Make it a point. Alright, so now what we're going to do is refine this point and make a preform. One of the reasons I wanted to shoot this video this way is because I wanted to prove that you don't need a magic beard to be able to forge. Now, it does put me at a little bit of a disadvantage when I decide to shave it off, and most of you don't have magic beards, but I do, and it does give me a slight advantage, so this is why we're doing this video with no beard. And if you don't like it, I don't care. our setup or our pre-form and taper and I started the spine because it's a shelf knife and I really want to set that thickness. Now I'll pull the edge down and it'll work itself up into a very classic French chef style knife. So the thinner you 
go. The faster it heats up, also the faster you lose heat. So be aware of that. Don't work down into the dark heats yet. That's for planishing later on. What we want to do right now is make it shaped, sexy, and sharp. Ready to be heat treated. Grinding happens after this. where I want to. I got my edge thickness where I want to. I'm just making it all even. doing it this way but this is the way I do it now what I'm going to do is forge a hidden tang this tang will have a frame handle something I like to do because I don't like drilling little teeny holes so we're going to forge that tang out straighten the blade out and then we'll begin our normalizing knife it is a little over two inches wide at the heel it's like two and a quarter and the blade length is right at eight inches about eight and a half by the time we finish it I'm gonna say it'll be eight and that's kind of perfect it's a little bit less than an eighth of an inch on the spine fully tapering and coming down to maybe a sixteenth on the edge the thickness of a dime so we're gonna grind some of it off, we're gonna leave some of the forged texture, and as soon as this cools, I'll show you real, real quick how much we're gonna grind off. It's not very much at all. Forgot something. Most important thing. Put your name on it. Sign your work, you care about it. So last time I did this, I got a lot of questions about what is hot stamping. That's stamping the steel while the steel is hot. This is by Buckeye Engraving. This was given to me by my friend Andrew Wozniak, and it's specifically for when I like to do brute de forge pieces, forge to finish, I'm gonna stamp the mark, and I did one so far, this will be number two. And uh, 
That's how you do it. I, I engrave, I laser my name on there, I do all kind of different ways, but this is kind of my favorite. That's how I know it's mine. So real quick, I'll show you how little I'm actually gonna grind off of this thing. And then we are gonna heat treat it. Very little. Take the bird off. All right. Now I'm gonna do the edge. Trying to tang just a little bit. This is going to be a frame. Spine thickness, we're right here at the heel, we're about an eighth of an inch and we're tapering. And then on our edge, we're about the thickness of a dime all the way around. So we don't want to get too much thinner than that. And then we will do our normalizing and then hardening. And that is a eight inch French chef's knife. We've been away from our YouTube channel for a while. We had a summer trip. Uh, we got new team members. Uh, we lost some old ones, but not to anything bad, something good for them. And uh, so now we're ready to relaunch our YouTube channel and get back in the game and bring some great content to you all. Um, I always like to hear some of your suggestions, what you might like to see me make. Um, we got a lot of fun stuff in store. We've got a remote location shop, the secret laboratory we're, we're working on. We've got new tools coming in here, a new hammer and a new press eventually. So I'll share, you, I'll share all that stuff with you and possibly a new location. So keep watching. I really appreciate you guys. Follow us on Patreon and be a maker. Make a difference.